Hi, this is Tim. And by Amber's decree or by demand, it's cleanup day at the automation store. So I've had this one spool of wire hanging around for a while now that so the company I buy wire from shipped this 500 foot order of wiring it on this 5,000 foot spool. Maybe it's a 2,500 foot spool, but you get the point. So I haven't been able to use this wire because you know, because it won't fit where we normally hang our wire. Now I know all you're thinking, well, it looks like it hangs fine, but this is where our shielded cable and our actual big wire goes. So I am gonna try an experiment, and this may be an experiment in how to make a really crazy YouTube video, because I don't know if this is gonna work at all, but it was worth video to find out. For those of you who saw the uh, control panel building series, you'll recall that actually my wire hangs up on the ceiling right above where we build control panels. But yeah, this is supposed to be one of these cute little spools up here, not this ginormous spool down here. So I noticed that my drill will almost fit into this spool. You can't really see that, can you? Yes, notice it'll almost fit in the spool. So my idea is one to open this up and then leave the drill chucked on it and see if I can get this spooled from the big spool to the small spool. And I'm hoping somebody will tell me exactly how I should be doing this after this video. So here we go. We'll have to do the, we're going to have to do the belly hug because Amber's not around. You can't be laughing in the background when I say that you're not around. Of course, what would I do if I didn't have her to groom me? There. Okay. Are we good now? Mm-hmm. All right, like I said, Amber is not around, so I have to do this on my own. Truth is, she's not very enthused about this idea. Nope. Can you at least hold the phone for me? I'm gonna jam this into here and pull it. Ready? And there we go. A little low because I don't want to smack myself too hard in the face, but in theory, <laughs> I think I can do this. Now, Amber is not, enthused and says she will not be a part of this video but now I do have her on camera duty so in theory pull this wire through here that was the first time. in theory well all great things start out as theories then you're the one who didn't really want to be in this because you thought it was ludicrous Is it getting heavy? Yeah. <laughs> you want to run it for a while? No. You might have to put that down on the cart and do it. You're just finally coming and telling me the grand idea? This is why Amber gets paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, you may want to stop. <laughs> She's laughing at me. You can do this. You got it. Is somebody going to tell me how I should have done this now? The one thing I will say is this is supposed to be 500 foot of wire. This is way more than 500 foot of wire. Yeah, more like 750. It's not coming out with reverse. No, because it just screws the chuck off. Uh oh. Alright guys. So... Our next video will be on our automatic wire dispenser <laughs> available at the automation store. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.